Hello, everyone. Um, before I get <coughs> excuse me, if before I get started on this unboxing, I would like to welcome all my new subscribers. Um, this channel is sort of so far it's mainly been an art channel where <coughs> I've unboxed um, subscription boxes, but it's also um, a channel where I share the things that I like. Um, whether it be Barbies or a uh, good book. I haven't done any movie reviews. Um, and I, I, I think I only did one book review. But uh, it's just things that I like. Um, I guess I could make a channel for Barbie and a channel for, you know, book reviews and a channel for movie reviews. I, I don't want to have that many channels. <laughs> I just don't want to have that many channels. Besides, I don't make videos that often. Um, I just, I'm getting more comfortable at, at doing the videos because I know when I started out, I was like, um, what do I say? <laughs> I'm, I'm virtually talking to myself in my house. But anyway, that is what this channel is all about. It's, uh, you know, my uh, art and things that I, you know, my drawings and, of course, the unboxings. And, well, the drawings when I'm, <laughs> my eyes are, you know, the way they're supposed to be. Um, and an update on my eyes, uh, it, well, my eye, because it's only my right eye right now that's affected. My left eye is still halfway decent, but it does have little floaters, and, um, but, uh, I'm starting to be able to see a lot more clearer, uh, not sharp, sharp, but not as fuzzy as it was, like, say, in, in the last video that I, that I posted. Um, I do have a tense, you know, when I'm looking at something like, this screen door, you can see the little lines on the screen door. I get, yeah, you can see those lines. Well, on my right eye, and I think it's just part and parcel of being diabetic, there is, I don't know how to say it, but the lines are like pinched. You know, the straight lines are kind of pinched. So I still see pinched, not as bad as it was um, before the surgery, but I still see kind of like it going in like, like, like a curve like this. So all the lines are just going in in a curve. But, you know, hey, I've, I can deal with that. I, I, can, I don't think it'll affect my artwork in that sense that if I draw a straight line, I can always use a ruler. So I don't necessarily have to need, need to draw a straight line by myself. I can always use a ruler. That's what they're for, there for. Anyway, enough of that. I um, just want to give an update on my eye. It is getting better. And I see the doctor, the ophthalmologist, tomorrow. Um, so keep my fingers crossed that, you know, everything's, I've been putting my eye drops in four times a day, doing every, you know, putting my eye patch on at nighttime because they said just wear the eye patch at night. So I've been doing everything I'm supposed to be doing in, in order for my eye to get better. And it, it is improving. I'm, I'm seeing a lot. I mean, I can see this a lot better, a lot more clear. I can see the definition of this line back here and the ocean and the clouds and the lava. So, I mean, everything's starting to be get, you know, sharper and sharper. So still having a hard time, you know, well, right now I'm seeing my blood pressure, you know, this thing. I, I can I can read that now. It's not as clear as it was, but I can I'm, I'm actually able to read it. So that's a good thing. That's always good. Anyway, let us get into the uh, art. This is the art snacks box for March, and um, I've seen some other video. I just saw the um, art snacks breakdown. Uh, I always like to watch the art snacks breakdown, and um, this is the fifth um, birthday. Um, Art Snacks has been around for five years, and this month is their birthday, and they've got some special goodies in here. So I already know what's in here, I, I, in the sense that I know, uh, I just don't know what colors I have. So, you know, because uh, with Art Snacks, um, they now, for those of you who are not familiar with Art Snacks, it's a monthly subscription box. And you get anywhere between four and five um uh, art supplies in a box. It could be uh, uh, ink, it could be uh, watercolor, it could be markers, you know, and uh, whatnot. So, um, and um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, it just went out of my head. But anyway, uh, yeah, so you get, you know, uh, high, you know good quality um, uh, uh, supplies. Every month, um, this description, the uh, Arts Next link will be in the description box below. And without further ado, let me get into to the box. Now, I did start on February's challenge. Well, in the sense that I started to do uh, a drawing 
um, using the the watercolor ink or the watercolors uh, choose watercolor in the last box. However, because the the colors I got were blue and black, and however I did not finish it. I did do. I mean, I was I was I did. I traced the little card, not the color, but the watercolor paper that they they gave us, and I traced it. And so I wanted to see if I could get, you know, what I had intended to do. But anyway, this is just the preliminary drawing, because my intention was to trace this and put it on the watercolor paper. Because But my eyes, since they went, well, my eyes went bonkers on me. I didn't want to take a chance of messing it up. Now I was able to ink it in. Now I could color it on this, but I want to use the watercolor paper that, that came now. See, th my idea though was to use both sides of the watercolor paper. I was going to put this blue jay on one side and this fine fellow on the other side. But Well, actually, I don't know if it's a, uh, a female or a male, but, but I presume it's a male. And um, I was going to put him on the other side, so I would be using both sides of that piece of paper. But I have not decided yet whether I'm going to do it. But anyway, I like my two little blue jays. And I really want to finish it. And, you know, I really want to put these on the, and I, like I said, I did the outline of the uh, card or the paper that came with it so that I could fit my blue jay in there. And um, I just have to paint it. Well, I mean, I have to transfer it onto the other paper, and then I have to paint it. Now, I have not decided if I want to do both sides. I kind of want to, like a bookmark, you know, and because I've got some laminating um, paper. And, you know, laminate it, and then you have it as a bookmark, because I, I like both Blue Jays. I like this guy. He looks like he's a grumpy old guy. He looks like he's grumpy. <laughs> like, I'm grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy the Blue Jay, but anyway, um, that was that is my preliminary drawings, and I, I and the um, if you want to look up the uh, the uh, site where I got the pictures from, here is the um, the uh, internet address for it, and the internet address for the other one. So I made sure I wrote them down um, so that if you're interested in seeing the Blue Jays that I that I got inspired from. You can go over to the site and um, you can just pause the video and you can go over to the site and and um, uh, uh, check it out. Um, but I will I will finish this. I really want to finish this because I'm dying to use those colors because they are so pretty. Anyway, that's enough of that. Now into the March Art Snacks box. Now, of course, I broke the seal and I already know what's in it because I, ha I, I saw the uh, Art Snacks breakdown. I always watch the Art Snacks breakdown. I got a, I got a notice that, that it was up, and I guess I could have resisted and not watched it, but I'm a weak-willed person, so I watched it anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, first off, let me get my little card out, and it always comes with a little card to tell you what's in the box. Of course, this one does not have any art on it. It just tells you what's in the box. And, of course, we get a candy, and this one is, I believe it's a Warhead. Now, I've never, yeah, it's a Warhead. I've never had any of these things, but I've heard that they're really, 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 really sour. And I don't know if I'm brave enough to eat this thing. <laughs> I do not like sour. So I, I'm not sure if I'm good. I do know uh, a little boy who might enjoy it. I don't know. Um, but I'm not too, I'm not, I don't know if I'm brave enough. I, I will let you know next time if I'm, I was brave enough to try the warhead. But anyway, so, and then it always comes with a little, a snack. And let me get my magnifying glass, um, see if I can read what's on the card. Okay, now, first off, in the box, we have an Art Snacks pencil case. It's a limited edition, and it's an Art Snacks exclusive. And it's a uh, $13.25 retail value. And it says, we love the convenience of having all our, <clears throat> excuse me, having all our favorite art supplies with us on the go. Um, let me see. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, uh, tote this limited edition Art Snacks uh, pencil case around town, proudly showing off your Art Snacks pride. Custom made from uh, durable nylon, this uh, case comes in, in Art Snacks teal, a color exclusive to our customers, and will never be available, in, available anywhere else. So probably you could go on the Art Snacks uh, website, and you'd probably be able to find another box, like, well, not a box, but, you know, a, a bag, but maybe in a different color. 
I don't know. Um, I would because usually their bags and stuff are available. Let me see if I can open this thing. Uh, just get the scissors, Nora. Just get the scissors. It's really nice looking. And I do need it. Well, I, 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 and I do need a bag for. I'm gonna have to push that in the trash a little bit. It's really nice. It's really. Oh, it's embroidered. That's really nice. It's, it's either embroidered on there or it's. A, I think it's embroidered, embroidered, embroidered. Anyway, that's nice. Got of course got the art snacks, art snicks, art snacks logo, Lo logo. Oh, I can't speak. And then it's got two pockets. That's really nice. Which is it would be it's that would be really nice, because then you could like have your pencils in one side and maybe your like water brush and stuff in the other side. That is pretty cool. That is really really nice. Well, I know what I'm going to be putting in my purse. Sorry, I I bapped you. Okay, and then we have doo -doo 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 -doo. we have a Copic Chow double ended marker. It's a $5.49 value. Um, it says, get ready to use one of the highest quality alcohol-based markers around. The extremely versatile Copic Chow marker, a double-ended uh, marker, has two durable um, uh, nibs. Let's see, it says, uh, hold on a minute, I'm having trouble focusing. Uh, super, uh, it says super? Yeah, super brush on one end and uh, and and a medium broad chisel uh, on the other, making it ideal for all styles of art, design, and illustration. Uh, two standard uh, perks of this uh, Copic marker: it's refillable and the nibs are replaceable. So, and that would be presumably in this little bad boy. So, let me. See if I can open this without messing up the paper too much. Because if you know from my previous videos, I try to save this so that I can recycle the paper. Ah, good. Let me see here. Yep, ta-da. I did it. Oop, wait, no, oop, oop, oh, oops. Tearing it just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it's sticky. The sticker that was on there was really sticky. Okay, here we go. And here is the the uh, chow marker, and looks like I have got my color is R59, I believe that says R, yes, and so I am presuming that the R stands for red, or is this, oh, it's cardinal. Hey, perfect, I should... I should draw a cardinal uh, bird, and it'd be perfect for the for the child marker, wouldn't you think? And here's the brush end, and here is the color. Make sure I got it. That's a nice color. My mother-in-law, who is since passed away, she loves cardinals. And unfortunately, I was draw doing her a, a drawing, and I. Couldn't, I didn't finish it because she's passed away. So, okay, what did I do with the? There it is. There's that end. And here is the chisel tip end. Oops, that was out of the lines, wasn't it? And I didn't do. And, okay, next, we have a Copic Multiliner. It's a $3.99 uh, retail value, and it says here, that's right, we're including two Copic pro <clears throat> products this month. The Copic Multiliner um, features a sturdy nib and smooth ink flow, which results in clean, precise drawings. The archival pigment um, based ink is waterproof and Copic proof when dry, meaning it will not bleed when colored over with your new Copic Chow marker. 
to avoid smearing, we recommend using um, this pen before applying colored pencils. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. Here's the marker and or the multi-liner and it is ooh I got a very fine one 1.0 is this it let me see and it is looks like it's black I love these really fine so it's fine but it's not super fine you know what I mean nice and then we have over this other side a Lyra color giants it's a dollar 94 retail uh, each and it says what does it say here it says staff favorite um, lay down some major color with Lyra color giants um, these oversized highly pigmented color pencils are perfect for covering large areas in your artwork, the their extra thick break resistant uh, cores um, last three times longer than regular colored pencils. We've packed your box with two different colors, um, so you can fully experience their brilliant highest quality or light fast quality, not highest fast. Yeah. Okay, and here's the colors, and it looks like I received. Looks like a brown co color. It does not tell you what color is on there, but this is the, the pencil. It is really thick. Look how thick that little bad boy is. But it looks like it's a brown. Looks brown. Does not give the color, and it looks like a reddish color, terracotta maybe? But it does not have the colors on there, so let's see. Yeah, that looks like a terracotta. And fortunately, I do have a pencil sharpener that will work. And it's got a big, you know, you know, big uh, hole or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that looks like terracotta. So let me see. And this one is a brownish, maybe a raw umber or burnt sienna. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I think. Hold on a second. Yeah. That's what it actually looks like, maybe a burnt, uh, like, yeah, a burnt sienna, maybe? Or maybe a raw umber. Anyway, it's a brown color. <laughs> oh, there's my thing. It fell on the floor. And let me see here. We also have in the Z box, we have our birthday present to you <clears throat> is Art Snacks, uh, turns five years old this month. It's been an exciting year, and we're celebrating with a birthday gift to you, a limited edition Art Snacks sticker sheet. Um, thanks to all our loyal supporters for five wonderful years. Uh, see here. Oh, here we are. And here's so usually they have a small sticker, you know, just a little sticker, but this time they have a whole sheet. Cool. So I've got to put this in my, in my uh, sketchbooks. Anyway, that is the Art Snacks uh, box for, for March, and I hope to do something with it. Like I said, my eyesight is coming back, and that is always a good thing, so um, I feel blessed that, you know, I, I actually do have my eyesight still, because it could be a lot worse. So I'm hoping to finish my last one with the, uh, the, the, the Blue Jays, and who knows, maybe I'll do a Cardinal with the, I'll go on, stay on the bird theme, and do a cardinal since I've got the uh, red markers and the red pencil and whatnot. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, take care of yourselves and be good to each other. Till next time, God bless. Bye!